This video is going to be covering everything on how to build your own arcade. So day one out of two, we have to load up the car with product, get a trailer, load up all of our machines on the trailer, bring machines into the fairground, and go to Home Depot. The QR codes on this poster were not working, so I had to make new QR codes for our social media platforms, and now I'm organizing all of the mini product and just setting all of the LED watches, getting more product that we need to take to the fairgrounds. And we learned from building a temporary arcade back in October that we need to bring all the product we have because we run out fast because we like to give out a lot of prizes to the kids and to the families when they play our machines so we're bringing absolutely everything we have so now I'm gathering all the power strips and extension cords because you got to remember to bring that because it lights up just super cool. It's a very nice machine and it's a medium claw. And then we had the idea of like putting a for sale sign on it. That way if anyone wanted to buy it, because so many people want to buy these miniature ones and medium ones for their bedroom. So if we decide to do that, that would be pretty cool. We can't put for sale signs on the mini claw machines because we don't have enough to sell to people. But something like this, like the medium claw, we can definitely make another order and order more of these medium ones. So that wouldn't be bad, just because we don't have a location for it, so. But like the mini claws, we can always find locations for that. We've just been busy and couldn't get locations lately. We loaded up, now we're gonna go drop it off at the fairgrounds and then head to his mom's house to pick up a large claw from her garage. And then we'll begin setting up, restocking, filling the machines, cleaning them, making it look nice. But I will say, this is not going to be like that arcade video we posted um, a while back in October. We have a lot smaller space to work with. Hi, you scared me. You know, I liked my idea of selling it, so we put it on the back. Are we grabbing the big arcade sign too? Yeah. This machine is great. I don't know what you're talking about. I have it, look at it. The gantry? If it survived the fall and it still works, <laughs> I'd be very surprised. It should still work because when we were loading it, it fell. We still got the product in here. We'll save these Squishmallows for Fright Nights next year because they're obviously fall. The corn, acorn, cow. We'll save those for next year. Yeah. I say we do one normal crane with like just a little variety and then one with Squishmallows. You think? Or should we just see if there's going to be a lot of kids there? I guess we can just, we'll start setting it up. Because as we go, we'll know what to do. Yeah. We're going to load up the car with more product, head to the fairgrounds. So little story time, this was our original spot and location in the fair and it was just not good. This wall's blocking us from being seen. This spot is in front of everyone. And those are the main gates, main doors that you walk in. You ready? Yeah. Different vendors there told us that we had the worst spot and that we should go talk to someone and see if they could accommodate us and give us a new location because it's just not the best. So we went and found someone to talk to and we got that dealt with and we got a better, bigger location, which was awesome. But more for that in a second. Oh, be careful of that joystick. This is the one that's like slightly broken.
So we just finished at the fairground. We did one trailer trip, then we went to his mom's garage and did a second trailer trip. Now we're gonna go pick up a change machine, make more trailer trips, which we did not expect because... Yeah. So our normal spot in the fair, I'll put a little picture up, was really bad. And when we walked in, everyone was coming up to us telling us, you have the worst spot in here. It's really bad. You need to ask if they can switch it and accommodate you a different spot if they have anything available. So we asked and it was a lot of just walking around trying to find someone to ask, but we got a new spot, we got a bigger spot, and then she showed us a third spot in which Eli wants to do it, don't you? I want both. You want both. So I'll pop up the picture that we have now. It's a 20 by 10. The original was 15 by 10, but it didn't look at like it. And the original spot was behind a huge wall, so no one would even be able to see us. They had to squeeze through like this tiny little alley. No. But the one we have now is a lot bigger. And then the second spot that we're thinking about is 10 by 10. Yeah. So if we have enough machines, we're going back to the warehouse to see like what we have. Um, we'll probably do that. I'm just trying to think it through. We have one change machine that we're picking up now and it's one hopper so it's not the best so we're gonna have to be standing there filling it quite a bit and I'm also worried because for Fright Nights when we built that arcade that was open like six hours each night for eight nights and the fair is open I think 14 or 15 days from like 12 in the afternoon to like 10 at night and I think some days it's open from 10 a.m. to 10 o'clock at night too so a lot more hours so I think we're gonna be refilling this change machine quite a bit yeah for now we're gonna go pick up some machines we've got nothing in the back of the trailer and we'll meet his dad to help us because we're gonna load up that triple machine the triple claw machine that thing is a beast it is super heavy so we need a third person to help us with that yeah we'll be busy pretty much all of January doing the arcade and then taking it down at the very end. I mean, seriously, I'm gonna feel like I'm just editing and working the arcade for <laughs> like all of January. That's pretty much all it's gonna be. But we'll try to keep you guys updated, try to respond to comments and all of that stuff. If you wanna stay more up to date on how it's going and everything, go ahead and follow us over on Instagram. I'll probably be using that a lot more than YouTube because it takes me a while to edit. Until the next trailer trip. Got enough of every melody, they all sound the same. Yeah. For my bro. Okay, it's day two in the last day of building our arcade at the South Florida Fairgrounds. We'll lay down the gantry and we'll load up these last three machines. We have this grass mat and we have to tape it down to the floor. You can see, but this little stuff is coming undone. His mom had a recommendation of doing duct tape on the front and then over to the back. And then we'll do another piece like this, sticking it to the actual floor. And then we'll move all of these machines back onto our mat and show you what it looks like after. So this is one of our sections. This is the 20 by 10. Eli, I'll be right back. I want to go to that. So the food court, ATM, the train station, which this is mainly where everyone comes. It's just a whole facade that they built in there. It's pretty cool, actually. And then this is our second booth over here. This is a 10 by 10. So right now we have three large claw machines and we'll move some stuff over from the other location to this one. And then we'll hang up some neon signs and stuff just to make this one look cute too. No grass for this one just because there's brick. We thought it looks fun. But this is a very popular spot because these are like the two main doors that people know to come in to look at this Flagler train station. And then also all the kids come in here and sit on these chairs every single year and they get yelled at to not sit on them. So. Now the kids can come right here and play our games. And it helps because the ATM's right there, so it works out. But this is the last building 
this building right here, this section, this building 10. And right on the other side of this wall is food courts and then the ride. So that garage door will be open along with that one. These, they open as well at the end. And then of course, when you walk in, we're right here. This is a great spot. And I'll start filling and restocking as you left finishes this. Says. Hi. We also just stop and eat dinner. <laughs> and now we're back. And it's like five o'clock and it's gonna be a long night. Just like Friday night, so. It is slowly coming along. This is what we've got so far. We're thinking about putting this big arcade sign propped up on top of that triple claw somehow. <laughs> I think it would be cool to have the red medium. I forgot about that one. That red medium right there, and then the blue medium that's at the laundromat right there, and then two mediums right here, because the mediums, no matter what side you look at it from, it still looks nice. The minis, you want to look at them from the front. That one, you can look at it from any angle. But the only problem is, is wiring, because then you have to I know, yeah. put tape over the wire. Yeah, that's, problem. that's a good idea. I like these staggered. I do, and then we'll put like the waist level wall right there. We have to ask where to get that. But our only concern with these is someone knocking them over. I think we need to buy some sandbags, really, or bricks, or put like weights in them, put them in the bottom. But it's coming along. Why don't you bring that one over to the other one? I wanted to do that, but I just think it'll look sick right in the middle because there's a lot of empty space there. Um, we're gonna turn this into a cash claw, put it right by the coin pusher, and then the change machine will go right there as well. And then we'll have two little stools for us to sit right here and observe. Then we have the normal ET vending sign from the other arcade in October, and we'll add that over into our section over there. And yeah. All right, so what do you think? This is what I got so far. Yeah, that definitely looks good. I No, that, I'm, that we have no more product for, so I that's bad that news. What do we put there then? So look, these, We'll go over there, and the Pikachu heads are under them. We'll put them there. Or we could put those here, and these over there. We'll bring those. Or if we could just we do the alien. Short, anything that we have a short supply of, we'll just put it in the triple and like- Run through it? Yeah. Do we have more penguins at home? Um, I don't think so, but we have more bunnies. Yeah, this, this is what we got so far, guys. We'll come yeah, back definitely. with an update. <laughs> So Eli just took out Grab all the, the Pikachus. Yeah. Eli took out all the Pikachus from that machine. That way we don't have two Pikachu heads over here. So we're gonna bring that to the other side. That way that location has something. We need something popular over here. So we thought the Pokemon could go over here, the Pikachu heads, you know, not just like product that isn't gonna do the best. And we don't even have enough product in this one because we're running out of product but we're gonna see what we can do. And we will keep you updated. <laughs> Will. But we have to definitely set up this machine because if I remember correctly from Fright Nights The bill acceptor wasn't completely working it's set on one and five for the dip switch things But when you put in a dollar, it's not giving four credits and it's it's set accordingly and settings the right way So something's going on there from Fright Nights. I don't remember if I fixed it or not So I don't know that was October. That was a long time ago um, We're going home to get the rolled up cash to put in here and then we'll fill it with quarters on the bottom too we gotta fill this. We obviously have to fill the coin pusher. This is good. We just gotta mix it around and then readjust the settings. This one, we definitely have to check the settings because we had other product here. The middle's good to go. We'll just buy more product tomorrow before they open. <laughs> if not, that'll be good for the first day. 
And then this side is definitely good to go. These are both good to go. And we will add in the money over here. Right now we're about to head out and go to the laundromat and steal two machines from there to bring here because they don't really do the best over there anyway. So it's not gonna hurt to bring them here and to make a little extra money with them. And then we have to go to your mom's house to get more power strips. We need to bring in the other stool. The space is looking great. It's all coming along. We're excited. We open tomorrow at, you said 10 a.m.? 11. Uh, 11 a.m. And it's like nine o'clock right now. And we still have to do one more trailer trip, his mom's house, his dad's house to get bill acceptors, come back here, finish setting up. We'll set up that other booth on the other side and we'll be good. And then we wake up early and it's open. So I think it'll be slower tomorrow morning though. So I'm, I think we can still do things here and there. We'll be back. <laughs> All right, trailer number three, done with the laundromat. Now to his dad's house, then back to the fairground. It was a very long night. We're heading out, we're ending this video, but stay tuned for the next video, which will be a collection from our arcade and more updates. Thanks for watching.